And now everyone's looking at me. So Eli's like, what do you mean you got one? So then I'm like, yeah, I, I got one. I got one. Yeah, my boy, my boy got a Game Shark and I use it to get that fusion shit, you know? Don, you got a Kyogre Groudon fusion? For real? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Big man thing. <laughs> so oh yeah, move so then. If you have it, take it out. Cause I don't believe that. Yo, what is you doing, bro? Push-ups. <laughs> Nigga, those are not push-ups. Because they're not regular push-ups, nigga. They're called pipe push-ups. But you wouldn't know nothing about that. Sure. Where, where, where do you even learn that? Young Don. Who? Sauce God, nigga. Young Don the Sauce God. <laughs> you mean the nigga that makes cartoons? Bro, I feel you, but just check him out. Just, just check this shit out. Okay. Yeah, bro. He started like a vlog channel. This nigga look like he know what he talking about, bro. Bro, he cannot be that big, bro. Your good judgment, please. You know, make sure the things you're. Oh, that, that's him. That's him. Yeah, bro. I told you, this this nigga he look like he know what he talking about. I, I know, I know he was built like that. I ain't know that. But okay, that's that's it right you, there. You good? One more, one more. Okay. Nah, nah, yeah, nah. I just I I just ain't I ain't know he look like that. I ain't know that's how you look. Not everybody's gonna have this available. I might, I might, I might check your shit out. I don't, I don't know. So if you are blessed enough to have a nice L shape. So this is another story that took place back in my Jamaican high school. Y'all seem to really enjoy the last one I told, getting suspended in high school. Highly recommend you go watch it after this one. It's one of my best videos. Anyway, I was in the 8th grade, right? I was about 13 years old, and at the time, I was still very much into playing Pokemon. You know, Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. And for the OG OG fans, you will know that one of the first videos I ever posted was about how I stole my first Pokemon video game in the 6th grade. That was two years before the time of this story. Now, I understand that there may be those of you who don't fully understand how the Pokemon video games work. Here's all you gotta know to enjoy the story. When you start off in the world of Pokemon, you're given a baby Pokemon as a gift. Your mission is to train this baby Pokemon by having it kill other baby Pokemons. As you do this successfully, your Pokemon gets stronger. Eventually, it gets so strong that it changes form and evolves. Also, sometimes, instead of killing the other Pokemon, once you've beaten it close to death, not quite dead, but almost dead, you can catch it with a Pokeball, adding it to your team of Pokemon, and now you can use that Pokemon to kill other Pokemons too. It's great. Last thing you need to know, there are hundreds of different Pokemon, but of these hundreds, there are a few that are a cut above the rest. Some would say a master race of Pokemon, known as legendaries. They're very strong, very rare. They're usually no more than a handful that you can catch in any one Pokemon game. So when you catch one, you wear it like a badge of honor. Now, of course, there are a few other dimensions to the game, but that's all you need to know. Now, at this time, it was still okay to play Pokemon. Like the cool kids were still openly expressing their enjoyment of the game, right? But this would completely change by the ninth grade. If anyone knew you were still playing Pokemon in the ninth grade, you're like a dweeb, you know? But best believe niggas was still playing Pokemon in the ninth grade, nigga. You just wouldn't tell nobody. Only the boys, you feel me, who would trade Pokemon with you in secrecy. And that's pretty much what high school is when you think about it. Anyway, one day, I noticed a group of kids circling around a lunch table, and I saw a couple of my friends in the group, so I made my way to the table. I get there, and I see two dudes are locked into a 1v1 Pokemon battle. Before there was Ninja, and FaZe Clan, and all of that shit, 
Niggas huddled around lunch tables watching two dudes play each other with their Game Boys tucked in their backpacks so they wouldn't get caught by a passing teacher. So the battle ends, and then the group gets to talking, and then the dude that lost started making excuses. He was blaming the fact that the other dude, Eli, had a team consisting of mostly legendary Pokemon. Eli, of course, shrugged it off with a classic, hey, life's not fair. Right? Maybe if you got that Kyogre Groudon fusion you keep talking about, you might actually win one. So then dude was like, nigga, I told you, when my auntie comes back from Florida, she's gonna bring me a Game Shark, I'ma get the fusion, and then I'ma tax that ass. Nigga, shut the fuck up, I already told you, that fusion shit ain't real, nigga, it don't exist. And then for some reason, I say, I got one, whole group gets quiet, and now everyone's looking at me. So Eli's like, what do you mean you got one? So then I'm like, yeah, I, I got one. I got one. Yeah, my boy, my boy got a game shark and I use it to get that fusion shit, you know? Don, you got a Kyogre Groudon fusion? For real? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Big man thing. <laughs> so oh yeah, I move. So then if you have it, take it out. Cause I don't believe that. Yo, you know, so I'm going to bring my game of school stills. You know, my mother would have killed me if I lost that. So damn my yard yo you're a fucking liar bro so then i'm like fine i'll bring it tomorrow so then eli's like okay say less all right tomorrow i'll bring it tomorrow and then i start to walk away <laughs> and i start to panic because i don't even know what a kyogre groudon looks like <sighs> okay two things first thing so this is kyogre and this is groudon right these are legendary pokemon well, back in the 8th grade, there were these rumors floating around that if you were able to get your hands on a Game Shark, which was basically a device for cheating, you could use it to fuse a Groudon with a Kyogre and make a super legendary Pokemon. Now, nobody knew for sure if this was true, because it was impossible to get a Game Shark in Jamaica. It simply wasn't sold on the island at the time. Well, my childhood best friend, Jeremy, had recently gotten one. He had a lot of family who lived in America, and one of his relatives brought one back to Jamaica for him. So I figured all I gotta do is go to Jeremy's, get the Kyodon, <laughs> I came up with that name. Bring the coyote on to school, let everybody know that I'm that nigga. And then Eli is gonna think I'm cool. That was the second thing, Eli. You see, Eli and I grew up going to the same church, right? His grandmother and my mother were well-acquainted church sisters. And because of that, Eli and I were cool. In the seventh grade, when we both started high school, neither of us knew too many people at the school. So we were boys, you know, we'd hang out during lunchtime, hang out after school. It was cool to just have somebody I knew in this new environment. Well, during the summer break between seventh and eighth grade, which is now the second year of high school, something happened. You know, Eli started rolling with the tough guys. You know, he became a bad man. I didn't see him anymore at church. And when I ran into him during the eighth grade, he was acting all, you know, hard and like he didn't fuck with me. And you know, being 13, immature and young, when you see a dude that you used to roll with switch up on you, you know, kind of sucks it's like damn nigga i thought we were boys now you the cool dude you the tough guy niggas respect you can't fuck with me i'm too soft for you damn it's like that that's kind of how i felt you know and i knew i wasn't gonna be no tough guy anytime soon so in a weird roundabout way i thought that if i could just get my hands on this coyote don eli will fuck with me again and you know maybe i'd even become one of the cool dudes too without having to become a bad man, you know? Because that's not who I was. Now, I remember clearly that the next day was a Friday. I remember that because I knew I wasn't gonna be able to see Jeremy until the weekend, and I had to go to school one more time, empty-handed, before I would be able to get my hands on the Game Shark. Needless to say, I was moving like that nigga from Assassin's Creed the whole day, bro. Sneaking around corners, ducking behind lockers. I didn't want anyone from the group to see me. Unfortunately, I did run into Eli towards the end of the day. And of course, he asked me about the Kyodon, to which I responded, I forgot? You forgot. Monday. If you ain't got this coyote on a Monday, it's gonna be a problem. Problem? Problem? 
Nigga, I'ma have two of them Kyodons, bro. I'ma get you one too. Just digging myself deeper, bro. I don't even know why, bro. So he lets it slide. I'm like, cool, see you Monday. So the weekend comes around and my mom gives me permission to go over Jeremy's house, right? So I get there and after we chill for a little bit, you know, I bring up the coyote. I'm like, yo, Jay, I really need your help to get this Pokemon, bro. He's like, bet what you need, I got you. What you want, a Mew, a Mewtwo? I know, you want a Lugia. Nah, nah, you know, you know the, the ones from Emerald, the Groudon and the Kyogre? Can can we get? I, I need the fusion. You mean Rayquaza? Rayquaza is not a fusion, bro. Nah, like ain't there a po like ain't there like you can fuse, bro? Ain't there a fusion between Groudon and Kyogre? You want a Jirachi? Oh, he needs no. some milk. And that's when it hit me. That's when I realized I was fucked because Jeremy knew more about Pokemon than anyone else I knew, and if. He didn't know about the Kyodon. There ain't no Kyodon, bro. So fast forward to Monday, and I decide to just pretend like nothing's going on. So I'm walking through the campus, and of course, I run into Eli. Yo, Don, what's up, bro? Hey, what's up, Eli? What's up? What's up with the Kyodon? Don, <laughs> I could not wait to see you today. So, come on, where's it at? Lay it on me. Yeah, the Kyodon. Crazy, bro. I forgot my game again. Oh, you forgot it. But you saying you got one, right? Yeah, yeah, I got one, bro. I, I just keep forgetting my game, man. And we both knew that I was lying. It was obvious. It's not like we were friends anymore. I didn't owe him anything. And he never believed I had it to begin with. So I couldn't see why he wouldn't just drop it and leave me with like just just a little bit of my pride left intact. But he wanted to press the issue. It was like he was genuinely angry at me. <laughs> Watch this. So the next time I see you and you don't have the game, you and me will go have a problem. You understand? I didn't recognize Eli anymore. I wanted to believe that my friend was still there, you know, and that this was all just an act, you know, trying to figure out his place in the school, in the world, and this was just a phase he was going through. But it became clear to me that no, this was who he wanted to be. So much so that he was threatening me. Over Pokemon, by the way, what the fuck, how lame is that? So for the rest of this week, I did everything I could to avoid running into this dude. But eventually, he did spot me. Uh, I was walking by his classroom it had been a few days maybe even a week so i guess i started to relax a bit he sees me hey don what's up so i stopped and i was nervous but i also wanted this to end you feel me i was i was not gonna continue the rest of my school semester like this yo what's up what's up i'm still waiting on this coyote don don yeah, well, I don't got it. So what now, Eli? <laughs> You're a fucking liar. Yeah. So what now? <laughs> Whatever, man. And that was it. He walked away and he never bothered me again about the whole Pokemon thing. That was definitely the nail in the coffin though. From that day on, we did not fuck with each other and it would eventually come to a head in the ninth grade during a confrontation on the basketball court where I almost made what would have been the worst decision of my entire life. So make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, turn on the notification bell. I love you and I'll see you soon. We gotta go, baby we're wasting our time Trying to decide where we should go Baby just follow your mind, let it decide all on its own Baby I know what you're scared of No I'll give you everything I have but won't go near love I can hear those demons from my past again, yeah Moving too fast again, well, Don't wanna put you to the side But you know it's hard to decide, yeah, yeah. But in the meantime, can we keep moving like this? If you want more, I'm gonna need time Love in the night time, girl you know it's my time Do you wanna come for a ride? Baby, there's a prize
life for this lifestyle Look at your watches flying by If you never live, you still gonna die 